Hi folks, this is Praveen Kumar from Global Customer Support Informatica. Today we are about to see how we can configure the sessions having JTX to use custom or the desired JVM of choice. The presentation in here is applicable for all 9.5.x versions and also for 9.1.x versions of Informatica Power Center. This is the presentation agenda and uh, we will have a brief intro for understanding of JVM, JRE and the JDK uh, basically walk through of the definitions uh, and uh, we will understand the general scenarios where you want to enforce the use of a specific JVM and uh, followed by uh, how we will be doing it in a demo and, uh, and at the last is the references um, to the knowledge based articles uh, which you can get on Informatica's support site. So JDK that is the Java Development Kit is a set of programming tools for developing Java applications. It consists of a development tools as well as a set of debugging tools as well and it, it is actually a component um, which consists of both JRE and JVM within itself along with some other tools. And Java Runtime Environment uh, is a subcomponent of JDK which provides uh, the minimum requirement for executing a Java application. So it consists again of the JVM uh, and it consists of the core classes, the supporting files which would be needed for running that particular Java applications. And on top of it, uh, or you can say inside it, you have the basic JVM, which is uh, a platform dependent program, um, which takes your bytecode, compiles and interprets it to your machine level um, instructions. Uh, this is done using the just in time compiler or also it's called as a JIT compiler. So here is what is the basic. Uh, so the, you may see some systems only have the JRE and the JVM component um, uh, if they are not being used for programming and stuff okay um, uh, other else you would be needing uh, all the three uh, to be there uh, in order for your programs to be executed and also for developing them okay so let's move on so this is a basic introduction uh, so so we know what is the JVM now so JVM is actually just a machine dependent program which is uh, um, which contains a compiler for all your byte codes which you are going to give as a Java program uh, to it so now what is the need for changing the JVM for our JTX sessions so Informatica users are free to execute their custom Java code using Java transformations in the Power Center session. However, we have seen issues um, which causes the J session to crash for the JVM specific issues. Uh, it could be due to, due to signal handling, it could be due to of dynamic compilation, JIT, etc. But uh, what we have seen is uh, generally the recommendation from Oracle is to uh, use 1.7 java to resolve most of the issues um, because we have seen something specific to red hat linux uh, having some issues over there with the hotspot java but unfortunately um, 9.5.1 informatica and its prior versions are certified to work with java 1.6 um, so your java code which is crashing because of some jvm issues um, cannot use the same JVM which Informatica is using to come up okay so uh, so finding this one we have provided an option for you guys to just set your session or your whole integration service to be um, using a specific JVM which you want to use okay so the solution um, so that's what so until 9.6 uh, the JVM of Informatica is not certified to work with 1.7 but however you are free to use JVM 1.7 for your custom Java code which you would be embedding in your uh, ETL jobs within Informatica's power center as in the form of a Java transformation so these are the steps uh, how you can um, change the 
uh, JTX sessions having uh, the JVM uh, from the default JVM to the specific uh, custom JVM which you want to use okay so you would need to go download a specific version properly and extract it to some location I've just given an example over here and um, in my case uh, it is the you can see there is a file called as a li uh, there is a library for JVM that is the libjvm.so file it, this is the main library uh, component of your JVM uh, which contains internally the whole JVM as you can say and uh, for me uh, my machine e here which I am using is uh, AMD64 that's why you would see my library as there in the JRE lib directory there is AMD64 server this could be something else for you like it could be spark or whatever uh, specific to your uh, um, corresponding uh, hardware pla platform okay so basically you would need to set the JVM lib path environment uh, um, JVM lib path custom IS property okay it's not an environment variable it has to be set as a custom property under the process tab and uh, then it would require you to restart the integration service okay uh, uh, let's move to the next slide where you will it's time for uh, to have a quick demo on this part okay uh, okay so here is my um, informatica administrator console where i can set the uh, jvm lip path custom property um, at the whole IS level okay so I'm just walking through my integration service which I am interested to set for so you would need to set it under the process tab uh, and uh, here you can see there is a custom property option okay so you have to uh, click on here edit and you have to say new and you have to put in the uh, JVM lip path and the value over there um, okay so let me set the so this is my libjvm.so file uh, as I said and I'm on an AMD64 machine so I'm using the AMD64's binary uh, you would have it for your corresponding platform okay and uh, that's about it we have to just say okay over here and uh, we need to recycle the integration service so uh, here what I'm doing is all of my sessions um, on that particular uh, Java environment are uh, going to have uh, the JTX wherever the sessions having JTX are running on this integration service are going to use the JVM which I am specifying in this custom property that's about it So, in case uh, you are not interested uh, to set it for all the JVMs, like say you only one or two sessions you want to try um, going with this particular uh, custom property, then uh, you would basically uh, opt, you know, setting it at the uh, custom properties uh, within the session level itself uh, in the session properties of the workflow manager um, and go to the config object tab there okay so this is another way of setting it uh, you can set it there as well but in that case you would have to set it for each and every session separately um, it's helpful when you are having it only one or two sessions uh, where you want to set this property if you are uh, facing it across all the JTX then it's better to set it at the integration service level as I did in this case okay so you can refer uh, these uh, KB articles the Informatica my support knowledge base articles uh, in order for your uh, further details of you know the issues which we can have and you can see the KB article 119908 which um, also explains about using IBM JVM article uh, IBM JVM JDK so similarly if you want to specify your index service to use uh, uh, a JDK version or a JVM you know which is um, not shipped by Informatica's particular version but uh, you want to use a custom JVM there you can even use open JDK for that matter um, for your uh, session as long as your Java custom code which you have written your Java transformation executes properly 
so there are other issues as well where you know uh, you are running on a um, uh, server machine um, wherein you will see uh, uh, there are default there are two configurations of uh, Java uh, one is a client machine and one another one is a uh, server machine so you can always uh, uh, even enforce your JVM to use Either it's a client or the server JVM which you want to use uh, into that particular uh, session so that um, whatever JVM you are requesting and you know what is the expected behavior of those particular JVMs you can use them and force them and make your uh, ETL job go successfully thank you so that's what we have here um, apart from that we would love to hear from you um, any comments or any feedback for this particular KB articles also for your uh, this particular video KB okay and you can follow us on Twitter and also you can subscribe to us on the YouTube channel thanks for your time thank you